Welcome to Mora FC. It is what it is. I deny your portal. Welcome, 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 welcome. A Ghanaian person may say, Welcome. It means Aquaba. It is what it is. Just look how this beautiful star, trendy one, this is going detail for detail. Nothing is hidden, nothing is hiding. You can see how amazing. I'm going to teach you a trick and a tip about this design. You know, how you're going to make it so simple and easy. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Click on the notification bell. It is what it is. So you're never going to ex any of my tutorial, you know? <laughs> I post video every Sunday. Make sure you tune it, you know? Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Subscribe. So, so this is the wrong side of the fabric, you know? If you want to learn how to cut a top, you know, I'm going to leave the link below. You can check it out how to cut a top. So I'm gonna mark six and a half from the top. But my kiss is and a half from the top. And to my kiss is and a half the top, then I'll mark 13 and a half or 13 and a half or 14. And a half. It depends how big you want yours to be. You know, but depending on the person in the It depends how big or small you want yours to be. So the lines, we're talking about the lines. How many lines do you want? Do you want five, three, four? I want mine to be five lines. So I'm gonna mark, I'm marking five inches. That is five inches of line. So if you want yours to mark to be four lines, you mark four inches. If yours to be three lines, you mark three inches. Remember, the fabric is folded into two. So three will give you six. One is being open. Five will give you ten when it is open. Make sure when you say at our near carbon, you know, into my kind of five. So, up as a line is near five, I'm not make a five. So, up as a line is near four, I'm not make a four. So, up as a line is near three, I'm not make a three. No, you cut three. It is what it is. So, I'm just making a triangle as you can see. So, after forming this, I'm going to leave and a half inches half inches inward i'm gonna mark half inches inward that is the sewing allowances may say mark a half inch inward any sewing allowance you know because we're gonna fold it then we get our five inch it is what it is don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment i post videos every sundays sometimes mondays that's why I say it's very important to click on notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you will be updated. It is what it is. I know your So after tracing up the line, so I'm gonna mark a half inch or quarter an inch from that angle. There are two ways of doing this. So you mark your half inch or quarter half inch from that angle. You come to this angle, I said. You know, you will do the same thing. So you draw your curve. So I'm gonna take a, a round curve. Like this, this one is too small, but I'm gonna use it. You can use the outer, you can use the inner inside. It's up to you. You cut. We're done. So you make your notches, you know, that angle. Oh, just for that angle. It's a koye, a koye keke. It's going well, right? Remember, I'm still working on the wrong side. No, I have not turned into the right side. The fabric is folded into two. I fold the fabric in into two. So I'm gonna fold and a half inch like this. You iron it. Yeah. 
you take your time you work with the angle very well corner corner yeah take your time when you're working with the angle take your time and just get your curve right otherwise you ain't gonna get your curve right it is what it is i do not know your photo <laughs> So we keep going, we keep going. So after folding a half an inch, if you have a glue, you can use your glue in certain ways, but you don't have your glue, we just have to keep on moving. Now teach you what you're gonna use your glue for. You can put it on it like this, then you cut. Or you can measure like 14 by 15, you know, 14 by 15. So you're gonna fold it like this, then you iron it. We need the middle. We need a straight line in the middle. You need a straight line or middle, and uh, that's why I'm ironing it to get a straight line in the middle. That's all. So I put everything in like this. Remember that also see, just like that. Remember, you have to match the lines on the small fabric and the main fabric itself. So you can see the lines. This line have to match straight. You make sure you give it an eye on so that everything will lie perfectly. But sorry, you have to tree. Not, not you have to trace that part. So after tracing, you have to measure from this part how much you get, and you measure from this part to how much you get. I came back again to show you something. When you measure from here, from here to this part, you have to divide it by five. If you want your three, you have to divide it by three. It's up to you how you want it. My, I want to make it five lines, so I'll divide it by five. So this, you have to do it like this, then you. When dividing it by five, whatever you get, you have to have your sewing allowance to it. So you can see there's a line there. I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna join it. I'm gonna show from that top to here. I'm gonna do that for five times. You know, so you can see I've saw it. So I'm gonna trim some excess out. Before trimming, you have to open that part and iron it. It does another way. Or you just trim it like the way I'm trimming it and just go your way. At the end of the so we're flipping it over, yeah, ten, oh, yeah, ten. Have you seen where I'm ironing it? The place that we saw, I let it came in the middle, so I'm ironing it like this. You're gonna do the same thing to the other ones. You see, one, two, three, four, five. Yellow. So our fabric is still there. We're gonna put it inside like that. Fix it like that. Yeah, fixing the side. Yeah, fixing the side. Then we put it on. You see, five. Capuch. So I'm gonna lift my fabric. The main fabric push that this and like that you can pin it you know you can pin it pin it save yourself pin it i, mean, I don't normally pin it that but you have to pin it it's advisable and safe to pin it so we're heading to the sewing machine i'm telling you my guy pin it so i'm gonna join it i'm gonna sew on top like that You make sure you match everything and also you know that we make 
a sketch what is it? a tracing right that we trace certain we trace a circle you know so you just have to make sure everything lies perfectly down with the top you just turn you do the same thing to the bottom you make you make sure it lie flat and perfectly let it be very flat that's why I said it's very important to pin it so that it will lie perfect you can see I'm using my hand making sure it lies straight and perfect so you're gonna put it on this like that You see how it's fall perfectly. Yep, it is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Click on notification when it is what it is. Here, if you have a glue, a hot glue, you can just put it inside and just put the fabric on this like that so that no one knows that you have sewed something. No one will gonna see the trend. But if you don't have the glue, you just have to put it on it like this and you make a top stitch. You make sure you pin it. When you when you want to make uh, when you want to sew on top, you can see I'm pinning my. I'm now pinning it. If you want to sew on top, don't start from the corner. Start from the middle. I'm still pinning to make sure even if the masters are pinning it that you tell that hey you should pin it if the bosses are telling you if the bosses are pinning it that tells that you should pin it as well so like I said if you want to sew you start from the middle not from the angle then you go around it like 0 0.2 yeah not just a uh, quarter just come at the tip of it let's forget so if you have a glue you just have to put it on it and you just have to put this one on it just like that and go but if they have a glue a hot glue a fabric glue not just a shoe glue a fabric glue, then you just have to put it on it and just go your way and if you don't have it you just have to keep on top stitching just like that then you go round and around and around but in fact, we still need a, a, a fabric glue. We still need a fabric glue. You can either leave it like this, or well, when I finish, I, I went for my fabric glue. So uh, I open in the middle like that, uh, like this, then I just put a glue inside a little bit to hold it down, just in the middle of all the lines. In the middle of all the lines, I put a glue inside to hold it down to the fabric inside you can decide to leave it like this you can decide to put glue inside you just have to turn it then you put it you just have to lift it then you put the glue so that to hold it down a little bit if you don't have a glue you just have to leave it like that it's more fc it is worry thank you for watching thank you for subscribing me out peace god bless you all bye bye